What do you I think? love when you do that. Again, on, again, 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 Welcome to Mythical Kitchen, where dreams become food for thought. And here's a thought. Why did we stop making all the delicious dishes we ate when we were a kid? Yeah, I want to go back to the time when I used to eat macaroni and cheese with hot dogs and ketchup and not know what a Roth IRA was. Nicole, life is unfair. But to counterbalance that, we're going to take hot dog mac and cheese. We're going to make our updated adult version of it. Then we're going to have a kid taste test that next to the OG dish to see if ours holds up. We've broken down the recipe into three easy to follow steps. You can snag the time codes right there. And there is a written recipe in the description below. Let's get cooking. Let's do it. Let us cook. Nicole, grab a big old bite of, of some hot dog mac and cheese. This is like Wait, let me the dankness. Up. It's a lot of hot dogs. It's dog. okay, I know, I know. Oh. Yeah, Josh specifically knows that Hebrew National mm. was my hot dog of choice. Mm -hmm. Universal to the Jewish American experience, mm. Hebrew Nationals. I would come home from school and my grandma would go, oh, Josh, do you want some sausages? And I'd be like, yeah, I want some sausage, Granny. And then she'd microwave me some Hebrew natties. Um, that's delicious. It is, it's perfect. But it tastes like child food. It does. Which isn't a bad thing, but I mean, I Kraft Mac and Cheese, it's a child food. So yeah. we're, we're getting a little fancier on this, right? We got Monterey Jack, we got some Gruyere, and we got some sharp cheddar. Nice. But that's why we have a real child. That's why a kid, he's 12. He's like a, a budding young man. We have a child. We're very proud of him. Not She and I don't have a child <laughs> together. There's a child coming yeah, in to yeah. tell us. Yeah, he's awesome. We can yeah, start making the sauce. Uh, Nicole, you want to make a roux for me? This is how I like to do mac and cheese. I like to do a kind of like hybrid creamy stovetop with the baked. I want to get the best of both worlds in here. Yeah. What we're going to try and do is get the creaminess of stovetop mac and cheese mm -hmm. in this to try and like appeal to the, like the child lizard brains. Also, I have this problem where I can't estimate a child's age. You know, if they're between like eight and like 13, it's all just like the same to me. Josh, okay. you know what we should do? We What's should that? probably talk about uh, our mac and cheese preferences on our podcast. Oh, we have a podcast called A Hot Dog is a Sandwich. We it's do. ironic that we're putting hot dogs in mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. Find us on uh, podcasts. Places. Like Apple. That is one. Spotify. All right, we got the roux going, so okay. we're gonna start adding our milk in gradually. Okay. So I'm gonna add in like about a cup. We got four cups of whole milk going in. Okay. You wanna crank up that pan to high? Sure do. And then just whisk that together. So I'm trying to like gradually build this roux. I like adding it a little bit gradually, you know? Don't don't like shock the system too much. Yeah, it makes total sense. Yeah, yeah. Add that in. We're gonna add our spices here. Pretty simple. We just got nutmeg, a little bit of mustard powder, black pepper, some salt. We got Monterey Jack. I'm using that for the meltiness. And we got uh -huh. sharp cheddar and we got Gruyere. I'm using that for the flavoriness. Beautiful. And so I'm gonna start adding some cheese to get that melted. Then we're gonna add more milk. I'm gonna reserve half this cheese mm -hmm. to get like a bit of a crust on this mac. That makes so much sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Then we just got 12 ounces of cooked macaroni noodles right here. It's 12 ounces when it's dried, and then that's cooked. Do you think this kid's gonna like us? You know, I was asking myself the same question, but like, why wouldn't the kid like us? I mean, we're super likable. Adults like us. Okay, so I'm gonna add half of Beautiful. our gruyere right here. Nice, nice. Kind of gradually build up the sauce. My first thought when I was trying to, you know, think of this sort of uh, updated adult kid dish was to put a bunch of Elmer's glue into something. Keep whisking through it and then we're gonna add the rest of our milk. And then we're actually gonna kind of simmer the macaroni and they're trying to draw oh, some of that nice. starch out before we layer it in the pan. Oops. Yeah, there you go. We don't have aprons on. We just started oh. cooking without aprons. That's weird. How long can we work together? Don't touch me. That's too long. Yeah, what? No, I say that to you. It's weirder if you say don't <laughs> yeah, touch me. Yeah, I mean, I the roles have been reversed. It's very different. It doesn't feel nice, does oh, it, I Josh? Feel, oh my God, no, it feels like you. Yeah, it makes you feel like crap. So now we're just going to add the rest of this milk in here. All right, and now we're going to add all of our macaroni in there. <laughs> What's up? Nicole Beer Pro. I'm sorry, I'm trying. We're I'm cooking playing. for Henry. This is for Henry, Henry. Henry, I'm doing this for you. So now you see this cheese sauce looks super loose. I want to keep it loose because we're going to layer more cheese in there. Yeah. And on top, we're going to let this simmer for like 10 minutes just so it tightens up. And then, Nicole, we gotta start making our form of ketchup. Oh, wow, a form of ketchup? A form of ketchup. We're gonna do fancy ketchup? We're making adult ketchup. <gasps> Ooh. Nicole, ketchup, ketchup's not fancy. Why are we still not wearing aprons? I don't know. I, we're both <laughs> rocking our looks right now. I got the jorts going. I look like I am a fifth grade teacher and we're at a parent-teacher conference. So what are we doing here? We're making roasted tomato jam. Very nice. A fancy version of ketchup, that right? very fancy. And we're going to put some of the same spices that you get yep. in ketchup, along with some sugar, vinegar, Worcestershire, all that, to try and like wow. really marry the worlds here. Nice. Bridging the gaps between generations, because we're all going to be working for Henry one day. Yeah, I <laughs> am. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take these flesh side down and we're just gonna sear them. We're gonna sear them nice. in this roasting hot pan right now. We're gonna let these tomatoes sear off for like five minutes. We're trying to get some char on them, trying to get some flavor coaxed out of them. Okay. All we can do is just sort of smash the juice out of them. Whoa! That's not good. So a child is doing this? Yeah, this isn't any normal kid. This is an America's Test Kitchen kid's recipe tester. Wow. He's tested like real, like America's Test Kitchen. I mean, like I grew up making those recipes. I mean, he's a pretty big deal. How old is he, 12? He's 12 years old. And he has that kind of title? Yeah. Do you know how hard I had to work to get here? Yeah, when I was 12, I was doing- Diddly squat. Like what, like 
Pokemon? Was that a thing when I was 12? Oh yeah, po uh, Pogs. Pogs? What age did the kids start driving? Like 9, 10? <laughs> 16. 16? <laughs> No way. You they were... can join the military at 12, but they can't operate Josh, a car until they're 16. Were... I had some red onion in here. We're gonna get the red onion working and in with the tomato juice. Start adding spices in here. Why not? Okay. Why not? Yeah. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, Jesus. Oh gosh. So we add some sugar into there. That's gonna be like the jam portion of this roasted tomato jam. And then we're getting some red wine vin and a little bit of Worcestershire as well. Wasn't there supposed to be water somewhere? What's that? No way. <laughs> Dude. Oh God, this happens all the time where I'm like, where's the tongs? I see all these Josh. I see tongs. Josh. I see two weird forks. I don't see tongs. I don't know what happens. So she's mashing that okay. up. Okay, fun fact. I'm gonna add some water to this just so we can kind of like turn this to high and let that really cook down. All the water is gonna cook the onions down. That's gonna help the tomatoes break down even more. Yeah. And then as this fully, fully reduces, it's just gonna be a beautiful tomato jam that goes in our thing that we're making. <laughs> and then we're putting it in the hot dog mac and cheese. We're making food. You've seen this show. Nicole, we did it. What did we do? <laughs> we made the thing. We made the roasted tomato jam. Oh yeah, we sure did. It looks incredible. It's tightened up. Give it a taste. Give it a taste. Seriously, give it a smell. Give it a smell. Get, get your whole face in there. Tell me if it tastes like ketchup to you. Oh, kind of. Hot. Yeah, it was really hot and it hit the corner of my mouth, but it's really delicious. Wow, what a beautiful balance of flavors. Kind of ketchup is like exactly what we're going for with it, because really it's gotta good. be adult ketchup. It's really Speaking good. Speaking of adult, we got adult hot dogs. Oh my gosh! Yeah, well, let's what see some hot dogs, let's see hot dogs. It's an Andouille sausage, it's, yeah. it's got more spice than a hot dog, it's got more texture, it's gonna bring a lot more flavor to the dish, it's gonna mm -hmm. counter the sweetness of the ketchup. Yeah. We got this mac, it's set up a little bit, it's still super, super creamy, we're gonna take half of it, take like dollops of that, and then just like kind of put them down. You ever see like Detroit style pizza being made? Yeah. Yeah, go faster, go faster. I'm gonna take sausage crunch, but be deliberate. You do that, I'm gonna follow the cheese. So we left half our cheese. We want some of it for the top, but we also want some to just sprinkle yeah. in between here. Cause we left a nice creamy mac and cheese base in there, but we also <laughs> want to get some of that just straight cheese flavor on there. Panicking. Don't panic. Why would you be panicking? I'm calm. I'm gonna take the rest of the mac and cheese. We're gonna pour that on top. Nicole, you wanna wow. take a spatula and kind of spread that around? Sure, is it okay if I take a spoon? Oh, you have a spatula right there. Don't touch. I wasn't going to. All right, so we're gonna take the rest of this cheese. We're gonna shingle it on top. I wanna get some around the edges. Feel yeah. it, that's supple. Yeah, felt yeah, like, yeah, felt like a memory foam mattress. So we're taking some Parmesan, we're adding wow. it to panko. What do you I think? love when you do that. Again, what, again, 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 again. Wow! Yeah, I'm on <laughs> All right, so we got uh, some dried basil, we got some panko, we got some Parmesan cheese. Nicole, you wanna mix that up? Of course. And just spread that on Absolutely. top. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, kids love smoked paprika. <laughs> do you know when I was a kid that I, uh, my brother challenged me to eat a whole Pizza Hut pizza with mushrooms on it and I ate it all, but then I <laughs> threw it up into a fountain? And then that's why I thought I didn't like mushrooms as a kid. So we're gonna take this, and we're just gonna pop it in the oven, 375 uh, for about 45 minutes till it gets all nice and brown and crunchy. No olive oil? Oh yeah, and then you're right, we gotta drizzle a little bit of olive oil over it, and so oh, we're just gonna kinda nice. do this. Oh, that's nice. What a great, that's Kids actually, love playing, this is actually working really well. That is such a great way to drizzle olive oil, wow. Yeah, this is working. It's like you're in Italia or something. Yeah, I go, oh, oh, go. Me, me, oh. What, is it? what is it, nonna. Yeah. Oh, my nonna, yeah, yeah. she make this sauce, yeah, oh, it's beautiful. Oh, this is yeah. how they do it in Sicily. Yeah. It dries with the fingers. <laughs> Okay, Nicole, I'm a disgusting man. <laughs> no, you're not. You're marginally okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right, mac and cheese still. Let's grab okay. it out of the oven. Look at that. She <laughs> that is looks gorgeous. So good. It's making me giggly already. It's making me hot and bothered. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> this is a children's episode. I mean, it looks really great though. The panko, the cheese has like released oil and it's actually browned the panko on gorgeous. there. It's a little bit of parm. I mean, I I'm gonna dig. Do you wanna dig in? You should do the honors. Okay. Wow. Wow. That came out so clean. Oh my God, that's, that's so clean. Wow. Wow. Perfect. Can I just? Look oh. at that, look at that, look at that. Maggie, I know we don't have one of those rotating things, but look how good I'm doing. It's yeah. like seamless. Do you see that? But I mean, look at the backside of that. You get the caramelized cream and cheese on there. Wow. It really is like a. What do you? You keep. I thought you were just gonna stop there. <laughs> no. Or do you want a full doing... 360? Yeah. Where's the Where's the bowl of macaroni? Okay. Oh, I have it. It's right down here. Here. Oh, you put the macaroni in a drawer. Yeah, Stupid we have me. to try them and see ourselves. Yeah, let's try. Okay, let's revisit the child's macaroni. It is what it is. It is what it is. And it's comforting and nostalgic. I think we're gonna get a little bit more complex. So flavor profile in here. Yeah. I mean, you see, oh, you smell, you smell the tomato jam in there. I need I some. think we got a good texture of that like creaminess plus all the bakedness. Uh-huh. Oh, it's hot. Never give, give me the a, sauce. Never give a child mac and cheese that's uh, too hot. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, Nicole, help. Oh. Okay, Nicole, this looks incredible. <laughs> this is really good. 
But our opinions, our opinions, <laughs> our opinions don't matter. We're old. We're old. Our palates sure have are. washed out. I'm an old woman. I am uh, the, uh, an old shriveled raisin of a man. <laughs> that said, we do have a kid. We have an America's Test Kitchen kids recipe tester, Henry. He is joining us. Henry, thank you so much for joining us. Hello. All right, Henry. So you're 12 years old, right? Yes, I am 12 years old. But so I'm about to turn 13. About to turn 13. So you're you're what, like a senior in college? You're about to graduate? Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much money do you think yeah. you're getting back on your tax return this year? Uh... You don't have to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Harry, so you have made our updated version of hot dogs with mac and cheese and ketchup. Do you eat hot dogs with yeah. mac and cheese and ketchup? No, but I have hot dogs with mac and cheese and peas. Mac nice. And cheese. All right, Henry, so you got the original boxed mac and cheese with the hot dogs yep. and ketchup on it. Go ahead and give that a try first. Get everything in here on it. I like watching people eat. Me too. It's fun. I get why people watch our show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what you're tasting. Do you do you like it? Do you um, love it? Hot dogs are taste like hot dogs, which is good. Nice. Yeah. And the mac and cheese is classic box mac and cheese. Mm. I love it. All right, Henry. So now you're gonna try the updated version of mac and cheese with hot dogs and ketchup that Nicole and I have created. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Let, that looks let us awesome. know what differences you're tasting. Does it still have that nostalgic? taste for you. Yeah, I guess here. he wouldn't taste nostalgia. He's tasting the current moment. Yeah, maybe it's more like tasting in context with what he just ate. It's really, really good. And I like it better. Yeah, there's a little bit of kick heat in it. I like the sausage. It's much better than the hot dogs. Mm -hmm. And I love all the cheeses in the mac and cheese. There's a little more complexity to this, right? You're getting some more flavor from that yeah. cheeses. You're getting all that heat from the baked. Do you think that this has like a market in the childhood arena, because that's what we're trying to find here. We're trying to bridge this oh, yeah. generational gap oh, between yeah. us, Henry. One thing I'm going to say, though, is if you're going to do it, make it boxed, because this took me four hours to make. And <laughs> so you're saying that, like, the extra effort, that's a little tough sell. So maybe you can marry it. Put some nice I'll sausage in the box. It's definitely worth it, but I don't think a kid has four hours to make lunch. We forget <laughs> that we get paid to do this all day. You have school. You have other responsibilities. And in 20 years, we decided that you're probably going to be both of our bosses. So I'm uh, looking forward to it. No, don't let her suck up to you now so she can stop get a it, bonus. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Henry, you got to withhold stop her it, bonus. Stop it. <laughs> all right, Henry, it was awesome meeting, Thanks, man. Thank Henry, you so much. See you soon. See you soon. Bye. He liked it. Oh, my God, he liked it. <laughs> The kids love us, the kids love us, the kids love us. All right, visit atkkids.com slash YouTube and subscribe to America's Test Kitchen Kids' new YouTube channel for weekly videos. And visit atkkids.com for kid-tested, kid-approved recipes, activities, and experiments from America's Test Kitchen Kids. And thank you so much for stopping by the Mythical Kitchen. We got new episodes for you every week. We got new episodes of our podcast every Wednesday, wherever you got your podcasts. And hit us up on Instagram at Mythical Kitchen with pictures of your mythical dishes under hashtag dreams become food. We'll see you all next time. What are we gonna make next time? I don't know. PB and J, PB and oh, frickin' J. Okay, well, I'm down. Fancy. I'm down. Fancy. We're gonna put I'm we're gonna put liquor in it for the kids. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Why? Well, we can get arrested. The mythical trucker hat is literally the only hat I wear, and I am not just saying that because this is an ad. So get yours now at mythical.com.